Hi viewers, I wanted to do this uh, video several years ago, but for those of you who have actually done this type of video, you will know that uh, going out to round up uh, your coins from various places is uh, very time consuming and uh, you know takes quite a lot of effort. So I, I never got round to it, but here we are today. Now the uh, challenge on YouTube that I've seen is a hundred pieces of gold, but for me, as I don't really have uh, bars, it is coins, it's gonna be 100 gold coins challenge. Anyway, um, now if it wasn't for my silver, I wouldn't have the gold that you're gonna to see today. And uh, you know, for those of you who've been following my channel for some time, will know exactly what I'm talking about. If it wasn't for my silver, uh, I wouldn't have a lot of this gold. So uh, silver has uh, brought me gold. <laughs> anyway, let's get started with uh, probably my favorite has got to be Mexican gold. Now, uh, I'm sure many of you will have seen these sets in previous videos of mine. They include the 50 pesos, 20 pesos, 10, 2, 2.5 and, and 5 and each set contains 67.2 grams of gold and uh, they only made these holders in black and white and I, so I have one of each of course. <laughs> anyway, also have the uh, half ounce Libertad the quarter and the quarter ounce uh, un peso cabrito commemorative moving on to my American gold you will have all seen the buffalo in previous videos the uh, ten dollar which of course let's have a look at the other side as well oh there we go um, the five dollar and a quarter ounce eagle and uh, one of my favourite designs of American coins is the Standing Liberty. This is the 2016 uh, Standing Liberty Quarter. On to Netherlands. Now these uh, little ducats were only struck for two years, uh, 1927 and 1928, I think is what they are. And so I have one of each. But I'm a Mexican set, so I've got to have a, one of each. And then the uh, 10 Gulden, which you will have all seen. On to some Russian gold. It's the uh, 50 rubles, quarter ounce gold. The 10 rubles. And I have multiple 5 ruble coins. They are just about a tenth of an ounce, if I remember rightly. Chinese gold. This is the uh, 2015 half ounce gold panda. Now this is uh, a bit of an anomaly as this is the only year the pandas were struck without uh, purity or weight and uh, applied to the silver pandas as well as the gold. As you can see there's no weight or purity on the coin but this is a graded one so um yeah i'd whether they'll uh, do well in the future i don't know but anyway after that their year they changed to the metric weight system so there's an eight gram uh, 100 yuan panda as well now i'll move on to the british gold and start with the india sovereign uh, now 2013 was the first year that the uh, sovereign was struck in India under license by Pamp Suisse. Now the original sovereigns, which this is one of from 1918, struck in India. I do also have one of the originals. Um, and I have several sovereigns um, that were struck in India from different dates as you can see there the ones in the cards are all struck in India on to a bit of Victorian gold the shield back sovereigns uh, a couple of those 
and then another unusual one which is the 2012 Sovereign as you can see there they changed design and the 2015 next to it there which you can see the newer ones have got that shine you see my fingers there and then several other sovereigns below now I do have uh, quite a collection of sovereigns now most of them are uh, mint marked meaning they are either from uh, Perth, Sydney, South Africa or um, Canada and a few are from London which don't have a mint mark for those of you who didn't know so there's 20 odd sovereigns there anyway moving on to half sovereigns a couple of proof half sovereigns both come from my LCS when gold was much lower than it is today <laughs> Uh, half ounce India sovereign and a couple of shield back half sovereigns and then another anomaly which was the 2005 with a different design on the sovereign and this one is a bit of an unusual one it doesn't look unusual it's just a 2015 half sovereign but when you look up the mintage numbers for this coin it is only 5,000 so only 5,000 of those coins were struck worldwide so I think uh, I'll be sitting on to that one I think <laughs> anyway then a couple more a few more half sovereigns from various monarchs right on to the uh, King Chuck Royal Cipher which you may know is uh, struck in pure gold and there's the obverse and reverse on the two different coins the crowned King Charles and then we have the 2023 Sovereign which you can see the colour difference between the pure gold and the 22 carat and uh, these are 2022 Sovereigns as well uh, the latter being the commemorative one with the slightly different design. Where's it gone? There. And the double sovereign at the end there, which contains um, just under half an ounce of gold. Uh, On to quarter ounce Britannia. This is one I picked up for spot at my LCS some years ago. Well, actually, it wasn't that many years ago. Um, half ounce Britannias, various years, one, two, three, four, and quarter ounce Britannia, and the gold standard, which is struck in pure gold as well. Rarely see any of these anywhere uh, in any videos or even for sale. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know, I'd have to look up the, I don't know if you can even find the mintage numbers for those, I'll have to look them up. But, uh, yeah, really do they come up for sale, the gold standard. Anyway, a few little one-tenths. One has the Lake Queen and one has Chuck on it. And then we've got a one-tenth Isle of Man Angel. And moving on to um, an Isle of Man um, noble, <laughs> I had to think what it's called then. <laughs> uh, this is the proof, I think, seem to think it's proof, is it? Yeah, proof 69 ultra scamio. So the proof Isle of Man noble on to a bit of South African gold. We have quarter ounce Krugerrands, and uh, I think that was the two and a half shillings. And then a one tenth crew grand, which I'm sure you've all seen. Moving down onto some French gold, the French rooster, which I'm sure you've all seen, the lucky angel, and the Napoleon, and then some German gold, 
was it five marks, ten marks? I can't remember now. Um, and then Austrian, and then Colombian, and uh, last but not least is a Saudi Arabian gold guinea from 1950. Anyway, that was a lot of stuff to sort out. I mean, my back is killing me now after doing that. <laughs> anyway, like I always say in my videos, keep calm and keep stacking. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.